All right. The first time uh, these, or no, it was uh, him and, uh, playing in Rich. He didn't wobble once, which was kind of surprising because he he had him in like the the. You changed like preliminary, oh, yeah. Yeah. the preliminary kind of setup for it, but he never actually uh, kind of finished on it. So I think I think he was kind of holding back on that. Maybe just uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Oh, yeah. It's fine. I got it. I got it. Um, so I mean, Quang will wobble like 100%. Uh -huh. He made his name a few years ago as like he was the first Michigan wobbler. Mm -hmm. So he used to have wobbling band for a while, and then like. The day we unbanned it, or like the tournament after we unbanned it, Quang like went on some crazy run to beat a bunch of players that no one like, and no one even heard of this kid before. And it's just like, yeah, he's good at wobbling. And since then, he's definitely grown past his like wobble master roots. Yeah, I mean, he still he still definitely held his own uh, against. Well, he won that match with Rich without even. I, don't, I think he won it with Rich. Yeah, I mean, he's wobbling, he's so. just a good player. He's like, good, yeah, he's definitely like, still good at ice climbers. Just it's annoying because you want to hate him because he plays ices, and he just beats you with Fox too, and you're like, okay, yeah, you're, he, you're, you're just better than me. Fine. Yeah. He's, he's a pretty, pretty he's a good fox. Uh, he beat uh, a peach pretty pretty solidly. Uh, yeah. In like two minutes for a three a three series, but a, a bit lucky for Heartstrings a moment ago there. The platform was there because so normally if the ice climbers are too separated, you can just mash out of the grab freaking so wobble. But ice climbers can chain grab Sheik into the wobble. So you like re grab re grab re grab until then it catches up. Then you chain grab them. It's awful. And part of the reason why this it was so bad, like, you see this right here. Okay, he just goes up for a handoff there into Wobble. That was oh, yeah. really, I thought he was just keep chain grabbing him, but knew that Harchings could mash out in time because of the low percent. And so I went for the, the handoff, I guess, and it paid off. And also, are so weird because, like, they're random. Oh my god, this is, it's, it's literally labeled Wobble Cam, dude. This is, this is BM as hell. Go back to the game. This is BM. <laughs> That's the first time. Oh my god. god. <laughs> This is so VM, dude. Oh, Heartstrings got out, and then into another. Got it again. Got it again. That was actually so unfortunate if you just saw that. So, Heartstrings got out of the wobble, and then he tech rolled, and the platform came up, so he couldn't roll away, and he got wobbled. It hurt so much. Finally got it. Finally got it. Uh, yeah, this this is why Heartstrings is like very. That, that grab is so bad. Okay. So. To say why that's so bad, when they do that trick where Nana light shields and Popo hard shields, you'll actually grab Nana instead of Popo no matter where you grab them. And so you Ooh, grab it. them, and then, then Popo grabs you and chain grabs you. And then you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, catch up with the up smash. This is so brutal, because, you know, when it's like even-ish, you can kind of play the game of like, I can get hit as long as I don't get grabbed. Right. But then once you're down this much, like, you actually can't afford to get hit. Ice Thumber's yeah, yeah, down yeah. smash will like, legit kill you at this percent, if you're not careful with your DI, so... It's really tough. You can't get grabbed, and you also can't get like hit in, in general. Down smash. Not quite going to seal a deal. Quang doing the correct chic edge guard. Platform comes up just in time to save heartstrings, but let's we'll see if we can make a comeback still. Dash stack is risky, but it pays off. Okay, that should be a stock. Yep. Ooh, Once they get that far apart, it's hard to up B, and you can actually even throw at needles off stage. So the needles hit one of them as they're up being it like cancels the up B and it die. Oh, yeah. So, That's Omar has brought it now to an even game. Yeah. And, like, as bad oh. as the matchup is, if you don't get grabbed, the matchup's, like, in your favor, right? Yeah, if you if you can avoid it for long enough, you can you can kind of just, like, you know... Yeah, and at this percent, there's no chain grab, too. So it's like, if you can just separate the S-Climbers and get that nano once, even though you're down, like, 80%, you've made it an even game. In this scenario, I think it's actually, like, very even. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Oh, Dude, he, did he actually come back three stocks oh, there? No, no, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. This is the edge guard, this is big now. Quang looks like a spot touch down smash or something else that can just catch heartstring slipping. Gets the fair. Got him. Nice. Did you see that? Three stock comeback. That's 1 0. We had the. Are you leaving, dude? Slater, man. We had, the, we had the wobble cam. I was talking about how Omar just can't win this. He proved me wrong, dude. That's the. I need to see the heartstrings every single day. Because that's the thing, right? It doesn't matter like how much you're down. Like it, It's like. No matter how much you're up, Ice is still, like, cheese you, but you can also do, like, cheese Ice is kinda. Yeah, exactly, that's what <laughs> you, I, yeah. You get rid of the Nana three times, and you've, like, won the game, kinda. Yeah. It's gonna be chin grab. Probably can't convert into a wobble. Okay, hand off does it. So, yeah, the, the chin grab can't always convert into a wobble, because they can keep DIing out, and Nana never quite catches up. But then, Quang, what Quang's doing to cover for that is he's doing a handoff into Nana, and if Nana does the correct throw, like, which is random. Oh, you're right, yeah, when it comes to ledge, he always does the right throw, so yeah, just good recognition from Quang. He, he knows his wobble setups, man. <laughs> Could have said be there, or didn't, whatever. Even game. He got, yeah, 
He got rid of Nana pretty And if Omar could win this, this is really huge, right? Because now you've won on FD, which is such a hard counter pick. Like, the momentum's in your favor, the mental game's in your favor, and, like, the set count is clearly in your favor, if you can win it. That being said, it's tough. You we see him. why. He got the Yo, grab release into a wobble. Yeah, that but, was... Yeah, so, like, there's two kinds of grab releases, which is, like, standing and air one. And he got the air one, which just, like, let him back into a wobble because he wasn't ready to DI or something. I don't know, like, wh when you get which one, but... Oh, yeah. So that happens. Well, and this is part of the reason why everyone hates Icy's, because when they just shield against you, you literally can't do anything as Sheik. Right. Your, your throws are too slow. He got him again. Or nope, good mash out, yeah. Uh, He's still at low to percent where as long as he keeps nope, DI away, he can't wobble, but Heartstrings, I think, was too busy mashing to do the DI, unfortunately. Yeah. And that got him grabbed. Because you do need to, like, kind of, like, pre mash before they start grabbing you to, like, get the optimal mash out stuff. So when it's tough to, like, mash and then also DI throws correctly. Well, we know for a fact this still isn't out. He's still not out. Yeah, of this. we saw this same deficit last game, yeah. possibly even worse. The difference, though, is that you don't have platforms. And that makes yeah. a big difference. As we see immediately. <laughs> Dude, it's kind of like, you know how when Fox is playing about kinda Marth bad. and like FD? It's like, that's bad and all. That's actually nowhere near as bad as this counter pick when it comes to like, strength. It just sucks because in this matchup, you like assume you are, like you win game one, it's like, cool, I'm 1-1. One, one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's why a lot of Sheik players will pick up secondaries to switch to on FD or just in general. Yeah, I know like not a bad idea. like Plup always plays uh, either Fox or Samus, usually Fox now, mm -hmm. against Ices. Swedish Light always plays Peach against Ices, who actually has an amazing anti Ices Peach. Ooh, got him. Yeah, dude. He actually, I think, beat people like that a couple times. The pain and the pain and heartstrings time. eyes. Or no, maybe it wasn't him. Probably, I gotta say. Probably wasn't him. I don't know who it was. But yeah, it, it, it's just so rough. Because you see the situation where like ICs are separated, and she doesn't have a quick way, like doesn't have a quick efficient way to kill ICs. All their combos like are good against because they always take time, and you don't have that luxury of like time to kill Nana when Ice like Popo is running in your face. And if he does grab you, it's like you're Fox, you kill Nana, you get grabbed, whatever. But if you're Sheik, he still chain grabs you. Yeah. So I, I can definitely I can I can see the tilt. I can literally see the tilt on the screen now. What is that like logo that's spinning? I don't. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, two Lucius. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, that's definitely BM, but I kind of love it. <laughs> I, I I would love it a lot more if it weren't Omar getting grabbed. <laughs> what about when I'm getting grabbed, Max? Dude, there was one time I was like one match getting top eight, and then Max like double four stock or three stock four stocks me. No, is that you mean I think? Oh okay. I, no, I, I guess I meant like I've never seen you get wobbled in Smash or Die the It never has happened to me in Smash or Die, but I also don't play on the that much, so. Yeah, see like this is the thing. Uh it, it's obviously not nearly as bad as wobbling, but it's still annoying. <laughs> yeah. People people always complain about the Sheik chain grab against other characters, but a lot of like more characters can chain grab Sheik than vice versa, I think. Yeah. Oh, that oh. was. Uh, <laughs> that's the tilt speaking. Nana, I guess that's yeah, the, but the that's like a hundred. If you're up two stocks, it's hella worse. When you're down two stocks, it yeah. is definition of not worse. True, true. It's like the, it's the old GameStop trade. <laughs> you just don't want it. Give it to your library instead, man. Does the guys have the book takes like use games? I, I don't think so. But... Yeah. I think they, but, they, but, they got ones over there, but. But g give your games to things outside the books, not games. This is the moral of this lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Support local retailers. Alright, so again, this looks bad, but bigger deficit game one. Yeah. We just need to see last stock game one heartstrings and not first three stocks game one heartstrings. If we if we see last stock game one heartstrings, he's being like he's being wobbles, he's being army, taking them all down. Quang's definitely up there in terms of quality ICs. So it says a lot that you can do a comeback, like for your mental game. Because you see how tilted like everyone like not even that he's getting tilted about wobbling, but just like wobbling inherently tilts you. Yeah. Oh, yeah I agree. You have to just like shake it off. It. Oh, he no, it. he didn't. He's got another game though. Heartstrings tried to mash that really hard and wasn't ready to DIY in the throw, so it like guaranteed the wobble setup. 
because uh, they just chain grab wobble if you don't DI away. It sucks, but um, yeah. That's, he, that's true. It, it's definitely doable. You can just go back to Battlefield, win the game, and you're like, oh, yeah. you're at a good spot. It's always so tough against S climbers, but remember that like, just you have to like, what they, you know what they say is like, great players have a short memory. You have to forget that this happened, right? Like, and this. It's yeah. You forget that this happens. Next stock, you've taken out. You you've like three and four stocks so many ices. You like three stock Quang at some point in your life. Remember that and not this, and you can do it. I know Omar can do it. It's just a question of like, will he do it? And it's, it's tough, but that's that's ice easy. I feel like Wobbly wouldn't be half as bad if you could like uh if it just took like. Two seconds instead of like twenty seconds. Nothing gets me as frustrated as getting wobbled. I think. Yeah. It's just like it takes 10, 15 seconds. You yeah. Can't do anything, and you're just like, well, all right. It's almost like a universal like uniting experience for melee players. As like, man, I hate wobbling. It's the yeah. We'll we'll argue about like every single matchup in the game, but everyone agrees that like, dude, wobbling, uh, not a fan. It's just a middle finger. Okay, he should. He he won't get wobbled here. Yeah. You can't wobble him there unless you do like a really crazy setup. He's only in a platform. Oh, good. No Nana. Chance. Fortunately, only takes like 4% from that side B, so meh. As long as he gets it here, which he definitely can. He should be okay. Still off stage. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Side B is not a great move. <laughs> so. Scared to use your jump there, but gets done safely. And and you, you can't really camp against Icy as a Sheik in the matchup. Not just because you're down, just it's not great either. That was a crazy angle. I love that angle. It's really hard to do, and I don't know how to like do it consistently. But sometimes you just feel it. Oh, you got Ooh. great spot dodge. Well, that Nair was so scary. That was so scary. Oh, that was. Anytime they're like on you, there's a possible. No. Oh, it. It's like, yeah. Omar got out of the scary situations really well, but then he came down and just F tilted, and it's like... You can't be doing that against Ices. It, it... Nice. Alright, alright. Counterpick coming in clutch. Alright. <laughs> Evening it up. Evening it up. I think it's so funny that Sheik's like best stage is Battlefield. Half the reason is just because like, people kill themselves in the bottom half the time. <laughs> it's not even because it's like, oh yeah, this stage is so good for Sheik. Though you do get some really sick, uh, like, arrows off platform and auto-cancel. Like, fair automatic fast fall auto-cancels in this stage. It's really cool. Yep. All right, all right. Good recovery choice. And okay. because it's on the platform, yeah, you can't get yeah. chain grab there. He's playing well. Like, in this matchup, you should win as long as you keep doing, like, the short hop fair and never messing it up. And then right there, we saw one of the few ways you can kill Nana early in this matchup. Whereas if you catch them with needles as they're recovering, they die. Ooh, nice. Should transform here, probably. But, whatevs. I see that doesn't actually good punish, I guess, so... Gets out, goes yeah, to the ledge, nice! That was it. That roll is... yeah. Oh. He's still alive, because he obviously can see it coming a mile away in DI. Sick mix-up! Oh, oh. Quang is dead! He got it! The mix-up is he so sick! It. Instead of doing double poof, he waited and did it late, and got Quang for it. Uh, definitely a mistake on Quang's part, but... Heartstring has played well to force the mistake. I have faith, dude. I mean, he's up, so... Should be an easy edge for Quang, oh, yeah. Nope. He still is technically up in that there's percent on Nana, which matters a lot. And sometimes, like, percent on Nana matters more than it does against Popo. Because if you're if you're like in a 1v1 against Popo last stock, you're like pretty happy, but yeah, yeah. this last stock is the scariest thing in the game. Up there with like Puff with rest. Oh no. It's not over yet. It's over. Now it's okay, now it's over. And Archring's fist bumps. Sucks, but